Hi, my name is Dr. Phil Selensky. Today we're going to present the full body reflex uh, routine. In order to fully appreciate that, it's probably a good idea to have a little bit of understanding of where I'm coming from. Uh, I have a background in engineering, and everything that filters through this brain is basically talking engineering terms. So if you'll bear with me, I'll try to present the physics of what we're going to do here in as much of an engineering presentation as I possibly can so that the average individual should be able to understand. Um, what I want to acknowledge here is that there is an energy consciousness that drives this machine. In other words, the you that's you, the me that's me, is not this vehicle, is not this body. It's a consciousness that inhabits this body, drives this body. This particular body is an electrochemical machine and it follows all the laws of physics. The laws of physics apply not only to the physical dimension, but to the etheric dimensions and any dimensions beyond that that you can perceive with your brain. I'm going to go through, I'm going to use a, a demonstrator body here, and I'm going to show you where the dashboard gauges and bells and whistles are on this machine that are connected to the vital organ system, so that we can tell which organ is or is not functioning properly. Most of us have experienced aches and pains in our life. The pains are the result of a disruption in the ecosystem, in the body. The universe is always in balance. We put the universe out of balance, but it will always return to balance, and sometimes with a vengeance. That is what we feel as pain. So what I want to show is the development of this pain profile, how it develops in the body, what to do about it, how we can maintain homeostasis. So without further ado, let me get the body on the table and we'll get started with the routine and I'll show you how it works. Okay, now we're ready to start the routine. What I want to point out, first of all, is that we need to observe certain things about the body so that we anticipate what we're getting into here. Each organ is wired in series with a number of muscles. The muscles serve as reserve tanks of energy for the vital organ system. So that when I'm finding a muscle that's either painful or sore, out of balance, or, or non-functional, I, because I know where, where the connection is, I can go to the vital organ here and find out that it's not functioning properly, it's under stress, something has happened to it. So I want to go through the body here and I want to press on certain strategic points. I want to test the strength of certain muscles. That tells me what organ is or is not working on the inside of the body. That tells me where the imbalance is and then it's the activity of the body prior to this that has resulted in the ache and pain profile. So the suggestions are going to be then to change behavior to reestablish balance. So with a digestion problem, we're going to have malfunction of the system because the food you put in here, it may be organic, it may be the best things on the planet, but if you cannot digest it, you're putting organic material in a warm, dark, moist place, it's going to stay there for a couple days, it will decompose. So your body must suspend the rotting process for a couple days until the enzymes inside here break the food down so that you can actually use it. So if I'm finding a, a low energy in the power circuit that drives the digestive system, I know I'm going to find some type of malfunction in the circuit someplace. In the if body. you find toes that scrunch up like this, and, and I'm talking about just laying naturally like this, that the toes scrunch up like this, this individual is walking very carefully through life, cautious, anticipatory, anxious, okay? This then tells me that there is a stress on the kidney circuit, okay? So the, the, the emotional profile of the individual uh, you can see immediately and that would help you to determine where the pressures are in this particular body causing the disturbance in the energy field that's causing the aches and pains. You can actually reach up under here 
and you can feel the superior medial border of the scapula where the levator scapulae muscle attaches. The, again, levator scapulae is the muscle that raises and lowers your, um, your shoulder. It happens to be powered by the same circuit that powers the stomach. So if you find tenderness in through here, again, that's confirmation for what we found earlier, that there may be a problem with the stomach circuit. All right, because this muscle serves as a reserve tank for the stomach. This pectoralis major clavicular muscle serves as a reserve tank for the stomach. The biceps muscle serves as a reserve tank of energy for the stomach. So all these muscles, if they're all sore, tells us, confirms that we have a stomach digestion problem going on. So it, the, everything is connected. See, uh, what I'm trying to show here is that there's an inter interconnectedness through all the parts of the body. You can't just specialize in shoulders. You can't specialize in breasts. You can't specialize in, in thyroid. You can't specialize in one part of the body without giving consideration to the rest of the body because the rest of the body is telling you what's going on here. For sure, we have liver energy. If you feel it, you can feel it. If the muscle feels tight, there's liver overload here. Now, if you go back just a little bit farther back, about even with the earlobe up and push in, that's the pancreas spot. Okay, so you have liver, pancreas, and gallbladder. All right, it's in a straight line right here. So if you have tenderness in certain areas, that tells you things. Because the whole body is not sore, just parts of it is. That's the dashboard gauge that's connected to what's going on here in the torso of the body, in the main, main machine compartment, the main engine compartment. If this is sore into here, this is sore here, this is sore over here, We've got a gallbladder that is either working over time or a shutdown altogether. And I, I, I get this from a lot of people. Well, I don't have a gallbladder anymore. So it can't be the gallbladder. Well, what you've done by taking the gallbladder out is just remove the alarm bell. The energy that drives all this is still here. And it's the energy that's depleted here that's causing the aches and pains in the muscle. If you find tenderness here, in the patellar tendon, or above the patella in this area here, that's gonna result in people having difficulties walking downstairs. Upstairs is not gonna to be too much of a problem. Pain going downstairs, you're gonna notice it right into here. That's a dead giveaway for small intestine problems. I wanna point something out here. If I hold the foot up this way, the two feet together, and you can superimpose the body here. So for example, this is the head, Here's your spinal cord down through here, spinal column. You've got the uh, chest cavity in through here. The lungs are in through this area. Here's the diaphragm across through here. You've got small intestines in through here. Kidneys are right up in this area. And large intestine comes up here, across this way, and down, and then out. So this is major. If you have difficulties down in this area and you're healed, more than likely there's some difficulties in the sigmoid colon area. A sciatic problem is a problem with the large intestine. You have contamination in the large intestine that's not being adequately dealt with and that's sucking juice or energy from these muscles which spasm, which pinch the nerve, and you walk around with a toothache on your leg all day long and Western medicine is scratching their head and telling them what the heck can we do? We don't know. They go in here and they'll do surgery on the spine, they'll get in here and they'll cut the nerve, they'll cut the muscle, they'll do all kinds of different things, <laughs> ridiculous things, and it's not going to solve the problem. The problem is here, the problem is a, is a spasm muscle because of the contamination of the lymphatic system, because your digestive system isn't working, because you're not eating properly. So this is what we have just covered in this reflex material. We've covered all the major command points on all the meridians. We've covered the reflexes and the stimulation points for the major organs. And we've also yeah, touched some of the organs themselves. If you know the geography of the body and you, and you know the location of the meridian system and the command points and the meridian flows, you pretty much got it nailed. You know where the pains are, you can tell what is or is not happening with the body. So aches and pains tell you a story. And the story is pretty darn obvious once you know the language. Thank you for watching.